Hey, this is Mike Summers with Mavidia Technology Group. We're here on the front porch at Mavidia since it's such a beautiful day. So I'm going to walk over and uh, hang out with Jason a little bit. <clears throat> Today we're going to talk just a little bit about uh, search engine optimization, internet marketing. And we've got Jason here. Jason, uh, what are we talking about today? Well, um, a couple years ago we had uh, one particular OBGYN client um, here in town in Bloomington that was frustrated that every time he searched for you know an OBGYN in the area, he could never find his website. And he was not even on the first one or two pages. And he was seeing all his competitors and was not happy. Quit messing with the camera. I'm just saying. That he wasn't getting business from the internet. And, uh, you know, bottom line is uh, he definitely needed some help with that. He wasn't happy with his current website. Um, so we ended up uh, actually creating a new website for him. Um, he had one created through some cheaper, you know, I call them dock in the box type websites. You know, pick your theme and boom, into the afternoon you've got a website. But is that the domain name taken? Uh, dock in the box? I don't know. Maybe we should check. <laughs> Doc in the box. Doc site? in the box websites. Yeah. Um, so we had a new website, and then I kicked in and started doing um, uh, our search engine optimization type things for him, and supplemented his traffic with Google AdWords pay-per-click ads, and which pretty much got him on page one for the paid paid ads uh, within a couple of days to supplement the traffic that would later come organically. And now he's on the page. Uh, first page of Google for most of his keyword, keyword phrases. Awesome. So really happy at this point. Great. So you, you mentioned the Doc in the Box websites, um, which someone's got to look up if that's available. But yeah. t tell us about, so, you know, it seems like that kind of happens, right? These industry verticals, um, meaning they focus in, it's a plumber website, it's an automobile dealer website, it's a health professional website. Mm -hmm. Um, and they go vertical and they specialize in that, but they're template driven. They're what? Why do? Why would an SEO client who comes with a, a piece of software like that? Why do they need to get off that software and onto something? Well, else? most of them are limited as to what you can control behind the scenes, and you know, not all of them are built to be search engine friendly. They're built to be cheap and to be turnkey and to have a website as fast as possible. Sure. That was their goal, you know. Um, so it's just a different goal. It's, it's, a, it's a different goal. Get it up and running quick, you know, kind of make it yep. easy. You don't have to put a lot of time into like it. Like GoDaddy has a, you know, GoDaddy website tonight. And that's yeah, what like, it says on the bottom of your website. Get it tonight. <laughs> so right? that's the yeah. point. It's cheap. Yeah. You know, it might be, well, it's a lot cheaper than, than uh, a lot of normal websites, but it's for a reason. And so the point is you say it's restricted. I think I might understand what that means, but for the viewers out there who might be watching this, um, why is that limiting to someone like yourself? So some of those site builders um, do have ac or allow access to certain behind-the-scenes things that you know people like myself would would work with to make the site more search engine friendly. A uh, number of things that we we do, um, a couple tricks that we do, and not all websites give you that access. With uh, you know, like we build our websites on on WordPress, you know, and, and we have access to anything we want. Sure. Um, a lot of these uh, template-driven, you know, dock in the box websites, they are built to be very simple for the user, mm -hmm. and that's generally someone in the doctor's office uh, who might change content once in a great while, and they restrict them to make it simple on purpose. Sure. And because of that. You don't have access to make changes um, a lot of times. So I mean, it's a non-professional's uh, solution for right. something that we it's we're, we're professional in it, so we need more access to be able to make these changes. And, exactly. Got it. And cool. Some of them are more flexible than others, obviously, but in his particular case, we were really locked down and, and restricted from what we were going to be able to do, and me trying to get that website on the first page of Google was going to be next to impossible. I said to switch arms. It's like a workout. I can't see myself. I can see that. Okay. So, OBGYN out there maybe found this video. Why the video? What like what kind of goals can we help them achieve? Like are they trying to 
grow their book? Are they trying to just, you know, um, expand into a new market? I know we've had some medical professionals come to us, uh, get help from you and your team, and then even start opening up other locations. Yep. And uh, so another medical practice, this particular one is a dermatologist. And when we brought them on board, um, same thing. They had actually created their website um, with GoDaddy, and it was horrible. But And they realized that, but they wanted to get something up as quickly as possible. They were just opening their first location, and now I believe they've got, gosh, I can't remember, it's at least six locations, but it could be eight. I, I can't remember. And they are just killing it in the rankings right now. Hmm. And we ended up, you know, in the beginning, creating a new website for them, optimizing for one, uh, one location, and as they grew, we, you know, grew our, uh, our services with them and now optimize for all of those locations and rank at the top for the targeted phrases in each. Great. So, awesome. Really, really great growth uh, for them in the last couple of years. So, are we a good fit for every single OBGYN out there? Or is, are there certain things that we would look for for, you know, what we'd call a, a good fit? So, OBGYNs are actually any medical practice. Um, if you're affiliated with a hospital, that's generally probably not a good fit, but if you're a private practice and you control your, your marketing and, and such, then we're definitely a good, good fit. If you are not found at the top of the search engines, your competitors are. And if you've got control of your marketing budget, you've got control of your website, and it's not being managed by a hospital or uh, you know some big corporate thing that you don't have control over, then by all means, we can help you. All right, cool. How long you been doing this, Jason? Or right, let's let's do this rapid fire. I'm gonna ask you tons of questions. Okay, what's I've your name? Jason. LeBlanc. How long you How long you been doing this? Before Google was invented. When was Google invented? I don't remember the year, but a long time ago. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I've been doing this uh, since AOL was sending CDs in the mail for internet. Okay. Next question. What are CDs? I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> We're not talking about certificates of deposit. Ah, uh, okay. All right. So, well, coasters. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Jason's local resident expert. Been doing this for a while. Been helping clients um, reach their uh, customers when their customers are looking for them, uh, which is a great place to be. It's like the difference between trying to knock on customers' doors and just being there to say hello when they're knocking on yours. If that's something that interests you, um, just get in touch. Hey, Brandon, I see you making a comment down there. What's was up, that 1998? Brandon? It was probably Windows 98 at the time. He made a comment, 98. Jason, sheesh. Yeah, I'm an old fart. <laughs> okay, <laughs> see y'all. <laughs>